Hello everyone, in this video we're going to discuss what should you do when you first get your Kinect Drive. But before we get into the video, small bit of information. From now on I'm probably going to remove my intro video because number one, if I was watching these videos I'd probably skip it myself. And number two, it takes up time when rendering. Now not a lot of time, it just adds an extra three minutes or less uh, onto the rendering. And to be quite honest, there's no need for such a long intro video in my opinion so with that out of the way let's get back to the video at hand so you just bought your cane hank drive or sorry it just arrived what should you do the first thing i always recommend to everybody is because these are second hand drives they've already been used by someone to put the stuff on it and something might have happened during that process or something might have happened during shipping so how do we tell if the drive is in good health Get this free piece of software, I've said it so many times, called Crystal Disk Info. I will leave it down below in the description. It will tell you the health of all your drives, including your SSDs. Once you uh, download it and install it, just run it and you will see this. Health status, good. Temperature is pretty high right now because right now the house is pretty warm. And I don't have the fans running. They're, I think they're at, at, at the lowest point. If I rev them up a bit, it will drop it down. But as you can see, the health status is good. Other information it gives me is power on count, as well as uh, hours running. This is the information it gives me. So let's say your drive arrives, you run this, and it says caution. That would mean it would be yellow. Down here are all these blue boxes, and it will indicate which section has the error. In my case, the very first drive I bought had a C5, and a C6 sector error problem. If you were to Google that, I already knew the answer, but for those that don't know, you can Google all of these, and the information they will tell you is re uh, replace the drive as soon as possible, because the drive will eventually die. I mean, it could be one week from now, it could be two days from now even, or it can be a year from now, but it will suddenly just stop working. Most of these drives are meant to last years like 10 to 15 years roughly 10 years or more that's the health of most of these drives but i mean it would be horrible for you to go out and buy one of these drives and two weeks later it's dead the reason why i say to run this straight away is because again you will see the health status and if it's caution if it's yellow or red send it back straight away get your money back or get a replacement straight away don't just say oh it might die me might be a week might be a year from now trust me replace it straight away that's my first bit of advice the second thing you should do is if i bring this over here is when i open up the drive you go to help files or help faqs in here you will see windows install files open that up and just basically these four are the important ones this here is a font file. Hyperspin uses it. Install that. The second one, just double click basically. I already have it, so click install. The second thing right here, it has a bat file. Basically, as it says, it'll install all of them, all in one go. So you don't need to double click each and every one of these. It'll just install all of them, all in one go. The next folder is the framework folder install two of these and the last one is your direct x folder now if you're a gamer you're basically going to have these already or this already installed like if you're playing modern games direct x is key but let's say you don't have anything installed scroll all the way down and you'll find this the dot exe or just type it in up here look dot exe that's it double click it and install that that is all you're going to need to do when you first get your drive. I know a lot of us would be eager to go in and play a game straight away, and you might forget to do these steps. But please, when you first buy your drive, I keep repeating myself, do these steps I've just shown you. First one, Crystal Disk in Info, and the second one is this folder here. Install all these files, or else basically not everything will work for you. Other than that, if you have any other problems, please check out my other videos I have on the channel. And like I always say, have a lovely, lovely day. And thanks so much for watching.